Hey guys, I <clears throat> had a uh, subscriber uh, say that they wished I could show how we installed this. Um, and so I figured I'd do a video and show you how we did it. It's very simple. Uh, I believe if you wanted to, especially if you're a guy like Buck Run 11 or something like that, Uncle Buck, I believe he'd go down to the hardware store and come back with enough stuff to make one of these things. But if you're the average Joe like me, you could pick up one of these kits, and this kit cost us uh, $140. And um, to me, it's worth it uh, because it would take a little bit to get this done. The key thing that you really need is this it's got the really high speed precision bearings and between plates of steel and stuff like that. Obviously, the turnbuckle and the clamps and the cables you could get. And you could make this out of a wooden disc and stuff, but uh, anyway, I think it's a great kit. It's worth it. We actually had some gift certificates from the store for the good girls' birthdays, and actually store credit. So uh, for us, it was it was a no-brainer. <clears throat> it does come with instructions, but if you know where the trash can is in your house, you can put those there. You will need a couple different tools, uh, maybe even a knife uh, if you use some reinforcement rope like we're going to do. 11 millimeter, half inch. Uh, and that's about it. I'll take you outside and kind of show you the process. It's real simple. All right, so we are at the end of the line, literally. And um, what you have to try to figure out um, is the tree distance. The tree is actually supposed to go through here, okay? This cable is supposed to go around the tree and then lock with these things here. I always try to get the most bank from my buck. So we picked two trees that were further apart, and I extended it with this and this, and then this is sort of a safety if any of this gives away. Uh, this is a 5,000 pound shackle <laughs> and heavy chain. This is an addition, okay? This does not come with the kit. Um, because if you go around the tree and do this, you won't need any of this stuff. So, um, <clears throat> now, this end should be uh, for my girls, um, anyway, we figured out that this should be about six and a half feet off the ground. And the way we figured that out is that the rider is going to exit the ride right about here. So with my, my smallest girl hanging and sitting on there and her weight, it allows her to dismount. I think you want it as high as possible because they are going to grow and get bigger and so it's like buying a size pair of pants, one bigger. Okay, so now that you've got uh, that height figured out and you've got your other tree over here, a couple things you want to do. You want to start the assembly down here, okay? And the reason you want to start on the high end, once you have the height determined, is because you're going to create, you're going to start here, then you're going to pull the line as tight as you can back that way. Then you're going to come back here and work this turnbuckle. And I'll come up here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> one mistake that we made <clears throat> was we did what the uh, instructions said. And that's why you don't look at the instructions. <laughs> and we went around this tree one time. And this put this point way out here. Well, you can see what happens when you're standing on the ladder and you reach out too far to grab this device, you could fall. So we wanted to bring this as far in as we could to give them a comfortable place to grab. <clears throat> so what you want to do is attach this, extend the turnbuckle all the way out so these threaded uh, eye bolts are all the way out here because when it's all said and done, you're going to turn this turnbuckle and, and tighten the cable. You're going to bring that cable back. Okay, you've got these built-in shackles that go through here. Once you've got this all set, <clears throat> then you're going to go back down to that end and pull it as tight as you can. And that's one reason I use the climbing rope with four loops is you can really, really cinch it up tight um, instead of having the chain and then trying to pull the cable. You actually set the cable and then use the climbing line in a bunch of uh, times around to really pull it snug. And I mean, this is, uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, circus act tight. <laughs> Not quite, but you get the idea. And the tighter, the better. 
So <clears throat> what other, uh, the other thing that I did uh, that really, really helped, and I did this as an afterthought because as they started to ride, the, uh, the tree would flex. This is about a, I don't know, about an eight inch diameter tree. But once you get 12 and a half feet up, it, the tree can really flex a little bit. So I created this backstay. I've got a bunch of these come up. It's actually my dad's. <laughs> but um, went around the tree, this other little tree at the very base, and created this backstay. And just did a quick double loop there. And put some serious tension on this. And it really, really, really helped a lot. So... Um, I think that's about it. The biggest problem that you would have with installation of this is if you didn't have the, the trees at the right distance. Um, I have seen some installations on uh, YouTube videos and whatnot where they had to set posts and backstays and all of that. And it was a lot of work. A lot of work. But uh, having the trees in the right spot... And see down on this end the tree's a little bigger but you're also your your point is closer to the ground that you're bearing on so it's naturally going to uh, be a little easier or a little stronger not as easy for it to to, to pull on and uh we put uh, the seat is adjustable uh if i didn't say that already by this little eyelet here we have it adjusted so our, our youngest child can sit here and grab those handles and then the two big ones just deal with the difference but the rest of the rope that's left we put these knots in it so you can grab it and the person that just got off can bring it up to the next rider and they jump on and away they go and uh, that's it so next project will be a, uh, a big uh, climbing wall <laughs> uh, to the treehouse and we'll uh, do some climbing it'll be awesome screen backyard pop edition y'all take care